And there is liftoff. Of it seemed like a routine launch, a Russian Soyuz rocket blasting off en route to the International Space Station. On board, Russian cosmonaut Alexei Ovchinin and American NASA astronaut Nick Haig. But a little under three minutes into the flight, a major problem, an issue with the main booster rocket. Commander of Chinin, calm and collected, decides to abort the mission. Emergency of booster, 2 minutes 45 seconds, the uh, emergency, the failure of the booster. Hearing there that uh, there has been uh, an issue with the booster and we're standing by for information as we continue to get it from the Russian flight control team, but everything seems to be fine with the crew. We had good calm with them and they are okay. We continue to wait for more information. The capsule went into what's called a ballistic descent, plunging at a much steeper angle than during a normal landing. But it eventually touched down, the crew unscathed. The crew was totally cold-blooded and professional. In general, I want to say we can speak highly of the actions of the crew. I heard their exchange with the operators, who were very professional about this. And altogether, these joint trainings of the international members of the crew allowed for this positive outcome. After the incident, the International Space Station ISS remains understaffed, only three astronauts on board. Russia is currently the only country ferrying crew members to the ISS. Despite recent turmoil between Washington and Moscow, the two countries have maintained close cooperation in space travel, the Russians vowing transparency in their investigation into the incident. I think the American side will be understanding about this, and of course it's not appropriate to hide any reasons behind this situation, Russia's deputy prime minister says. Currently, it's basically just Russia that provides transportation of the crew to the ISS, and of course, they must know everything, and we will give them all information about the reasons behind this incident. Alexei Ovchinin is a veteran cosmonaut who's already spent almost half a year in space on a previous mission. But for American Nick Haig, it was going to be the first flight into orbit. And while there is concern and disappointment that this mission did not go according to plan, just hours after the aborted launch, it is outweighed by a sense of relief that these two men are alive and well. Fred Pleitkin, CNN, Moscow. Hearing good first stage performance for the Soyuz, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine to the International Space Station. Nick Haig there at the top of the screen and Alexei Ovchinin at the bottom. One hundred ninety seconds into the flight, so he's traveling about forty seven hundred miles per hour. Please send the S command. Ballistic uh, descent command is sent from root controller. Copy. Copy like him. So tighten this strap in work.